Yeah, I'd like to ask the candidates a uh, pretty simple question. The state of Nevada does not participate in the verified in or fashion or any way possible. And that's due to obvious reasons. What is your feeling about E-Verify? Would you vote for it or against it? I, I didn't understand the question. Yeah. Would you vote for or against E-Verify? Well, if you, if you explain what E-Verify is to me, I can agree. Oh, it's an immigration, immigration policy. Check. Yes. Oh. It checks the status of an individual applying for a job. If they're a legal I know, citizen. I understand that now, yes. I, I, I understood it as something else. Um, again, um, we get into civil rights. It's, it's a touchy, touchy issue. I don't know. I would have to do more research on it and find out what the ramifications would be, pro or con. Um, no comment from me at this point. Doesn't have anything to do with civil rights. Civil rights. Well, <clears throat> when, when you start, I, I think when you start dealing with with individual people, they're all, it's all going to boil down to civil rights in one aspect or another. No. You're either legal or illegal. E verify is used by many states. The state of Nevada has chosen not to use e verify. However, it has been mandated by the federal government. It's open for use. It's free. It is, there is no discrimination involved with E-Verify. The purpose of E-Verify is to require that employers use E-Verify to um, match Social Security numbers with names to make sure you are hiring a legal citizen and not an illegal alien. I don't use immigrant. Uh, I'm not that soft. Anyway, and so the state of Nevada has a policy, I believe, based on the fact that the casino industry does a lot of hiring of what we know to be illegal aliens, and everybody is turning a blind eye to this. In the meantime, they're using someone's social security number and someone's identity, and it's something that needs to be addressed. addressed yeah. Am I, is, is that okay, John, that I make yeah, the explanation here's, about it? Here's my whole point about E-Verify in this town. This town is made up of over 50% of retirees, is my understanding. Good, intelligent, vivacious, energetic retirees that many don't have an extra retirement. They have just their Social Security. Because of the fact that we do not have E-Verify in this state or in this town or this county, a lot of us can't get a job in the casino because they can hire an illegal to do it instead of one of us retirees. And so therefore, we're suffering as a community. The community is overrun with illegal aliens. The word is illegal. There's nothing about civil rights. I have a real strong feeling about it. I'm a redneck cowboy. So I'll shut up, but I'd like to hear everybody else's. As I understand it, E-Verify does more than just check for illegal aliens. It also helps to identify identity theft and some of those other Correct. things. Yes, ma'am. Like there are people that use dead people's social security numbers and all that kind of stuff. And I think it's a great well, idea. I uh, don't think it's something that we're ever going to get to vote on at city council. It is a state mandate. I don't know if we could require it on a city level. No, it's, have, it's state We'd have county. to look at that. So I'm just saying, so it's not something that we would get to vote on. Married to a redneck cowboy, and I happen to agree with you. I get real upset when they, uh, my grandkids have to do without classes and stuff when they're teaching ESL and they're, I mean, I could go on and on. But that's not something I'm going to get to vote on city council. Uh, Cindy, would you say tell people what ESL is? Oh, English as a second, I'm sorry, English as a second language. Okay. Right. And, I mean, they, they take time from regular students. I mean, I'm not saying that I don't want those kids to get educated, and I believe everybody, you know, um, wasn't it the Canadian Prime Minister that said you judge a country by how many people are trying to get in instead of how many people are trying to get out, and I feel bad for those people. But I have a real problem with the term illegal alien. If we know they're illegal, why? Exactly. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is not a city council issue, okay. though. <laughs>